It is very frightening to think that a life-saving phone call might not happen if you or your loved one's phone is completely discharged. That battery can mean the difference between life and death for some people, especially toddlers and the elderly. On top of that, it is of utmost priority to utilize a renewable source of energy that can be used to power not one, but many types of devices. To help avoid some of the most dire situations, the goal is to utilize energy created by human motion. A portion of that energy is wasted in waiting for someone to tap into, the, into it and convert it to a usable, meaningful source that can help power people's lives. As of right now, the problem does not have as, uh, as elegant solution as the one we are proposing. Current solution consists of rechargeable batteries and portable power banks that are charged at home or office, usually using a non-renewable source of energy. Our solution consists of four piezo sensors uh, that are placed at the toe region where we get maximum flexion. We added two batteries that get charged from that sensor. The batteries then send out the voltage into a power booster that boosts the vol voltage to an appropriate level. It charges a power bank that can charge anything with a USB cable. This will help us remove the power bank to make it more practical to charge a device or tool. In a world grasping for even more minute sources of renew renewable energy, our device represents a bright beacon of hope. It utilizes a currently wasted form of energy that is created as a byproduct of everyday life. A vast portion of kinetic energy created during walking or running is wasted. Our device seeks to transform the unused into usable energy form and use this misplaced resource. Not only that, but this device taps into a renewable source of energy powered by the nutrients ingested and absorbed by the body, then converted into kinetic energy by the muscles. For as long as the user eats and moves his or her lower extremities, the device has an unlimited source of renewable energy. Walking is not mandatory because any pressure on the piezoelectric sensors will create electrical energy. Walking is taken as the most widely used type of locomotive movement by majority of the population in the world. Running would be the most efficient and productive, but it is not uh, as widely used as walking. Not only that, but our device is a completely passive device, which means that all of the generated energy is used toward charging capacitors. While not all the kinetic energy can be converted into electricity due to the loss of energy uh, in the impact and absorptive layers uh, in the shoe, which, support, which provide comfort, the, electric, uh, the kinetic energy that is harvested is not used for the operation of the device itself. Due to the nature of the device, the device itself can be easily converted to power different devices. The conversion can be done in two ways. First, mode of conversion would be simply to change the charging cable that connects our device with a designated external device which needs recharging. Other modes of modification would entail the addition of piezoelectric elements to the existing circuit in order to boost the voltage output. In some cases a combination of the two methods is necessary in order to use our device. Finally, our device uses rechargeable batteries which further um, reduces waste.